In order to locate schools of deep water fish in the wintertime, what is a little trick that we can do that will lead us to those schools of fish? It's a good one. This is a good one. Good morning, guys and girls. February 7, February 7, February 7, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. If you're not subscribed to that channel, go over there and subscribe to that channel right now. If you are subscribed, share it with a lot of your friends. Also, we post these uh, every morning at 5 o'clock. They go up on uh, Facebook as well. We have over 600,000 people on our Facebook page. Uh, 24,000 people on the Catch a Better Life channel. About 150,000 on all three of our YouTube channels. Uh, Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing, which is a brand new channel. We just started a couple, two, three weeks ago. Um, and Jimmy and Chris Houston's Twin Eagle Ranch, which is a, a pretty large channel. Over 120,000 people on that. Uh, Mark, uh, we, we read a fishing tip, we read a scripture, and a devotional every morning on the Catch a Better Life channel. The most important channel on YouTube because it will absolutely change your life for the better. Mark 11.25 says, Whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive them. That's right, forgive them. If you have anything against anyone, forgive them. And here's the deal, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. Oh, yeah. Forgiveness is a big part of fishing. Even our fishing line is made with forgiveness built in. That's right. You ever think about that? It's called stretch. Stretch in your fishing line. It allows the fishing line to give or stretch just the right amount and not break at some critical times. One time is during a hook set. You make a really hard hook set. To let your line have a stretch or a little bit of give in it to keep you from breaking the line on the hook set. When you got a big fish on it, big fish makes a really dynamite bad run, kind of straightens your rod out sometimes. You've had that happen to keep that line from breaking at that really critical time. Without this forgiveness in our fishing line, we'd lose lots of big fish. <laughs> we'd lose lots of big fish, promise. Today's scripture is hard for most of us. Can I tell you, it's hard for me. It's a difficult thing. Jesus had just told Peter, the apostle Peter, the disciple Peter, whatever he prayed for, believed that he had it and he would have it. Jesus had just told Peter, whatever he prayed for, believe that he had it, and he'd have it. That's good. That's good. That's really cool. But then Jesus added this part. He said to forgive anyone, meaning friends, meaning enemies, meaning believers as well as non-believers, whomever, whoever, doesn't matter. Forgive anyone. It also includes another caveat that's really difficult. Forgiving them for everything. Everything. He had told Peter that in order to have successful prayer, when you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive them. To have any successful prayer, you've got to have faith. You've got to believe that you have it, and you will have it. But then he added this caveat that to have success, we must forgive anyone for anything. Anyone for anything. That's tough. That's difficult. It's hard to do. But isn't that what God does for us? He forgives you and me of everything. Every sin we've ever committed, every sin we will commit. Mm. Here's our tip for today. Follow deep balls of bait. That's right. Schools of bait fish. Schools of shad. Follow those deep balls of bait to find schools of fish. Those balls of bait are not searching for the fish. You and I are searching for the fish. But those balls of bait, as they move around, they're going to have some fish find them. Those are the fish we want to catch. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.